this video we want to learn how to make a, a continuous data like uh, BMI uh, to a, uh, a categorical uh, variable as we have for example for BMI categories I just uh, back to the PowerPoint uh, presentation that we had uh, about the different categories as you know uh, BMI can be categorized into four groups at least. The one is underweight, which is BMI under 18.5, and normal is 18.5 to 24.9, and so on up to overweight and obesity. So its BMI is a continuous variable. We are going to change it to a categorical, and because this is a meaningful ranking about the BMI, it's ordinal. In the uh, nature of the variable so we back to and we go to uh, the data here and transform and we are going to choose recode into different variables here you choose the BMI and as you see I already did it and uh, uh, you have output variables that you gave a name BMI category and you put a label that make it uh, understandable about the BMI so you will have uh, BMI categories for example and then you say change and then it will change BMI to BMI categories so we have a numeric variable and an output variable which is BMI categories here and then you go to old and new values and here as you see I already add the uh, the values you choose range lowest true value and 18.4 is also underweight so we choose this one as the range uh, from the lowest value through 18.4 it will be value number one and then you go to the range and put the values 18.5 to 24.9 and give the value 2 as normal and as you see it's very important to not have overlap because if it was 18.4 then it was overlapped with the previous one and the species are is not going to accept it and the same for uh, overweight and obesity so we have four values here and then we click on continue and then OK and then we make the uh, new variable. So if we in the species we go to variable view, the last one that we make uh, is this new variable. This is BMI category and this is numeric, that's correct. It's the white can be just one because this is one, two, three, four. So we don't have, for example, 21 or something. So we put one here. We, we have no decimal for this category, one, two, three, four. And remember, this is the new variable and here you are you should go and explain uh, what does it mean that I did it before so you can see it's a finish round while I will number one we write here one and we write underweight and also for the others we can two normal or normal weight or so on and then uh, we should change here also to the ordinal and then we have the new category and then if you want to see now how we analyze this one it's in analyze we go to descriptive statistic because this is a categorical uh, uh, variable we can use the frequencies and here we are going to choose BMI categories that I did here and click on the OK and then we have the categories here the BMI categories, underweight, normal, overweight, and obesity, the frequency, the number of uh, uh, cases that we have here, we have just one underweight, we have seven obese people, we have 63 overweight, and here we have the percentile. As you see, 54.8 percent of our, uh, our cases in a normal range for the BMI.